Okay, Mr. Lucky Man 007 here. Uh, right from the beginning, I'd like to tell you about what's coming up in July. Uh, we're going to go live on the channel one day a week. Uh, it'll be the Mr. Lucky Man 007 show. And we'll be interviewing people who are uh, from various backgrounds, from uh, agriculture to zookeepers. So, and everything in between, and try to make it interesting for you. And also, uh, going to give you information about being a prepper and being prepared, okay? Mr. Lucky Man, a Mr. Lucky Man is always prepared. We don't get caught off guard very much, okay? Because we're aware and we're prepared, okay? Very important. So, here's the thing. It involves you. So, all you have to do is, is get yourself one of these Mr. Lucky Man 007 branded shirts and then start snapping pictures of yourself wearing the shirt. There'll be prizes for the picture farthest away from where I am in Central Florida. There'll be prizes for the most exotic location. Uh, the Not the most dangerous location though, so don't use this as an opportunity to be a thrill seeker. Although if you're successful and you want to send the footage to me, I'd be glad to to uh, upload it. Uh, if you're unsuccessful, get well quickly. <laughs> okay. So, also, uh, maybe the most erotic picture, you know, maybe you sitting in the middle or standing in the middle of beautiful women or beautiful men, whatever your pr particular preference is, okay. So, um, I got a couple of things that, oh, oh, so you can pick that shirt up at our store and then start snapping photos and then just send them to me. And uh, we'll, we'll select a panel of people to judge, and then those people will be awarded some kind of a prize. I don't know, money, uh, trophies, uh, Mr. Lucky Man apparel, uh, things like that. So, you know, you got to wear clothes, so, you know, why not wear our clothes? Okay, our clothes are nice and very nice and very soft, comfortable material. And, uh, you know, they're... They're imprinted very deep, so they don't fade or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, some of our designs have to strike your fancy, so just, you know, check them out. Uh, now let's get down to business. Today I want to discuss three different topics. The first topic is the origin of the Wuhan Kung Flu virus. We obviously know the or origin was China, period, history. Uh, now, it could have been a wet market, or it could have been the Wuhan Virology Lab, where the coronavirus was transported to from America to continue research through gain of function. I believe documentation will soon surface that shows those very things. And I think the Chinese have covered up both what happened, why it happened, and who was responsible for it. We already know the whistleblower is dead now uh, you know things like that happened in China I guess so uh, first of all they came out and said yes the Wuhan coronavirus has probably leaked from the Wuhan virology lab uh, other scientists that were looking at the coronavirus said that due to the way the string of proteins were so arranged that it appeared that this coronavirus had been engineered engineered so if it's engineered it can be patented so who has the patent on the corona 19 COVID 19 virus interesting question I think the truth is going to come out eventually although it may be too late the second one is years ago a few years ago there was a potential red flag warning for the banking system going down and people not being able to get their money. It was said that it would be planned for a day that was probably a Friday and the excuse would be either we have to do a computer upgrade or we may have been hacked and we need to remove a virus from the system. In any event, they're due to close on Friday and not reopen period. That was what the red flag was about. It just so happens that one of my banks, which is one of the largest banks in my area, it's kind of a local bank, 
has made an announcement that tomorrow at 4 o'clock you will not be able to use an ATM or have any banking transactions done with your debit card at any businesses for the weekend. The excuse given is computer upgrade. So this could be it. So the third one is a local one although it will have international repercussions because our hospital system here in Central Florida is owned and operated, recently bought by the University of Florida. And today there was some kind of a cyber attack on their computer systems which affected all of their computers and any machines that were computer driven in the three, two to three hospitals that I know of. So this could be a life-threatening situation for some people who are dependent on a computer to tell them when to take medication, uh, when to breathe, uh, when to take your blood pressure. Um, this could be devastating for someone who, say, is in ICU on a ventilator, and the ventilator is controlled by a computer, and the com computer system goes down. What happens to them? So right now we haven't heard anything about it on mainstream media. This is brand new. This was brought to my attention today by a doctor friend of mine. And uh, he was telling me that it was going on as we were speaking, that he had been notified. So it could be pandemonium at the hospitals in our area at this time. So check out what's going on in your area. Okay, things are happening really fast. We all need to be prepared. Remember. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Mr. Lucky Man 007. Peace.